Hey guys, sorry that I haven't been uploading videos recently as something just came up and been busy with other things. But I'm back once again and I would like to talk about the Champions League second leg quarterfinals results as well as the semi-finals preview. The second leg quarterfinals had been more exciting than the first leg which even brought jaw-dropping moments. First, I would like to talk about the most exciting game between Real Madrid and Chelsea. The game began with Mesut Mount scoring for Chelsea at the first half then, it was in the second half when it became full of excitement where Antonio Rudiger scored a header, extended Chelsea's lead to 2-0 and Chelsea's attacker Timo Werner was able to score the third for Chelsea, making the Blues leading through aggregate. However, 5 minutes after Werner scored, Luka Modric provided a long assist for Rodrigo who scored the first for Real Madrid, thus denying Chelsea's potential place in the semi-final and brought the game into extra time. At extra time, Karim Benzema once again scored a header against Chelsea after his first leg hat trick victory, thus reduced Chelsea's lead to only one goal. The score remained 2 3 till the end for Chelsea's victory, but it wasn't enough for the Blues to go through the semi final, and it was Real Madrid that goes through the semi final following the aggregate victory and proves that they have the DNA to win more Champions League titles and looking forward to win their fourth in this season. Bayern München, on the other hand, had failed to seal a victory over Villarreal as it ended with only a 1-0 draw at the second leg. It was goalless at the first half as both sides were unable to score a goal until Robert Lewandowski opened the goal-scoring account for De Rotten at the second half. However, it wasn't long until Villarreal winger Samuel Chuguze gave an equalizer for the Yellow Submarines. As a result, the score remained one all till the end and guaranteed Villarreal's spot in the semi-final, as well as continuing their fairy tale chapter on knocking out another European giant out of the Champions League. Bayern München had struggled to score more goals during the game against Villarreal, even if they were able to create more chances. Next, the second leg game between Liverpool and Benfica in Antwerp had been more thrilling than the first leg as both teams held to a 3 all draw and a total amount of 6 goals in a game from both sides. The first half began with Konate once again scoring a back-to-back -back header against Benfica following Simica's corner assist and Benfica's Gonzalo Ramos scored an equalizer for the away side. Then in the second half, Roberto Firmino scored 2 goals for Liverpool, one from Jota's assist and another one from Simica's free kick making Liverpool leading at 3-1. However, Benfica would refuse to lose the game in Anfield and would score another two goals with each goal scored by Yarem Schuch and Darwin Nunes, which were ruled offside at first but after the VAR check, both goals remained and the game ended 3-0 with Liverpool going to the semi-final following their aggregate win. Following the game, the Reds keep their quadruple hopes alive and aim to win the Champions League this season. Benfica's fairy tale might have ended here in Anfield, but Darwin Nunes' amazing performance has brought the attention from Jurgen Klopp and plans to bring the Uruguayan striker to Anfield next season. Last is the most notorious game in the second leg between Atletico Madrid and Manchester City. As both teams played in Wanda Metropolitano, this time Atletico played a more attacking football while Man City played quite defensive. As Atletico has been trying to create more chances, it was John Stones who had been the backbone for Man City's defense line as he was able to suppress Atletico's attacking opportunities and as mentioned earlier, Pep Guardiola's side always play counter-press whenever an opposing team tries to counter-attack. Things start to get more chaotic where both teams confronted each other and led to a point of high tension between opposing players and staff after Phil Foden was brought down by Felipe and being lifted forcefully by Stefan Savic. Felipe eventually was sent off and the huge conversation would still continue after the game at the tunnel. Overall, it ended goalless and Man City has guaranteed their place in the semi-final and will face Real Madrid. As the quarterfinals have finally come to an end, now here are the semi-finals and the first leg will be played in two weeks. One will be the big match between Man City and Real Madrid and Dark Horse Villarreal will face another European giant in the semi-final. Now I'm going to talk about Liverpool vs Villarreal or the game between the English giant and the Spanish Dark Horse. The last time both teams met dates back to the 2015-16 Europa League semi-finals where Villarreal claimed a slight victory at the first leg. 
and Liverpool made a huge comeback at the second leg by sealing a 3-0 win in Anfield. Following this victory, Liverpool reached the final but unfortunately suffered a 1-3 defeat to Sevilla which was led by today's Villarreal manager Unai Emery. Besides, the last time Jurgen Klopp faced Emery was in the 2019-20 Premier League season when Liverpool was playing against Emery's Arsenal and the Reds claimed a 3-1 home victory over the Gunners after two goals from Mohamed Salah. Will the Yellow Submarines write another fairy tale chapter? Or will Liverpool be able to keep their quadruple hopes alive this season? Going to the Man City vs Real Madrid game, the last time Man City faced Real Madrid was back in the 2019-20 Champions League round of 16 where Man City sealed a 2-1 away victory at Santiago Bernabeu through Jesus equalizer and having the Bruins winning penalty. The second leg in Etihad had to be postponed until early August due to the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak back in March. But Man City was able to pick a 2-1 home victory over Real Madrid through Sterling's early goal and Jesus' winning goal. Will Real Madrid be able to win the Champions League once again this in 2018? Or will Pep Guardiola be able to help Man City to win their very first Champions League title and be able to taste another Champions League victory after winning two with Barcelona? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos and feel free to leave your predictions on the comments below. Thank you once.